What's up guys? Um, just want to take some time today, make a little quick video here on vocal recording. Um, over the years I've developed a workflow. I think a lot of guys that use Logic probably use this workflow. If you're new to Logic, great video to watch here. Um, it's basically a technique that allows you to loop a region it allows you to record multiple passes of that region uh, and then at the very end kind of comp everything together to create a uh, just a seamless vocal performance. So again, let's go ahead and create a loop. Um, and you want to do a little bit before and a little bit after, right? Um, and then again, that way the singer has a little bit of lead in. And then same thing on the trail end, right? It's gonna loop back over and start here right a little bit before the verse. As you can see, we went ahead and recorded all the vocals that we needed um, throughout the whole track. Um, and then again, let's kind of take a look at what we've done here for the first verse. If we zoom in here and we take a closer look, we can see that we have all these different little takes, right? And we can kind of click through them here. Let me solo this out. Um, so he's, you know, in the very beginning, kind of getting a feel for the vocal here. We're all the same, but still we're not. Everybody wants some... I'm not feeling this verse at all. Uh, right? So he wasn't feeling it, kind of went back, maybe did another take. And what you can do here now, if you notice here at the top, as you start selecting regions, this top section here is going to change because, again, it's building a comp based on all your selections down here. So again, you can start to build the perfect vocal performance. So I think that's it. So right, like you can build these perfect vocal and then you can compress the folder and now everything is just packed into this take and you can start um, you know, applying plugins and, and really kind of mixing this as a complete take. And then the other thing that you can do, and I'm not gonna do this now, um, you can select this A icon and then you can select flatten and merge. And what that's gonna do is basically bounce it in place and just create one seamless track without those uh, little breaks that you see here. Now when you do that, it basically means that you're solidifying that take and you're basically saying like, this is perfect, I'm not gonna wanna go back and make any changes. Um, this is the final you know, vocal take for that verse, for that chorus, whatever it may be. Um, hope you've enjoyed this, hope you've learned a little bit. Um, again, it, this is a pretty basic vocal, uh, vocal tracking technique. Um, again, a lot of advanced users are probably well aware of this and, and probably use it all the time. Um, but again, this is really you know, a video for those of you that are new to recording, new to tracking vocal. Um, and again, really just think about it from the singer's point of view, right, when you're going into tracking vocal. Um, you really don't want to be jumping around. You really don't want to be just kind of singing it all the way through. You're going to burn your vocalist out. Um, so really just take it region by region, right? Verse 1, verse 2. Um, a chorus, you can usually track that once and copy and paste it. And then, you know, once you copy and paste that over to the very end, you know, if there's any... Uh, you know, endings or, you know, different little outro, uh, you know, stylistic changes that somebody wants to make, go ahead and let them do that. And you can kind of comp that in to the pre-existing take. Um, so again, enjoy the video. Happy recording. Uh, feel free to ask any questions in the comments section. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Have a great one. Bye.